Look at them toes. Anyways, uh, got my 26 nozzle here today. Today is the 13th of January of 2024. Got my X-Bolt Hell's Canyon with my cheap $100 Bushnell. Them uh, fucking sights on them thing is thick as a bitch, let me tell ya. Her name is Rosie. She weighs 303 on the scale. Anyways, uh, 26 Nosler, Browning X-Bolt Hell's Canyon Edition. Kind of a gummy, sir, gummy kind of texture. Three shot bolt action smooth as butter anyways i've got these targets i'm gonna aim there's a uh little barcode down here i'm gonna aim at the 100 yard down here let me see if i can zoom in here that 100 yard down there on the left you'll see that black silhouette target i'm gonna shoot that some bitch with probably a two shot group to confirm zero because i want to conserve my ammunition hence i only got real expensive you know 100 and Thirty dollars for forty rounds, and that's the cheapest I've ever seen it. So uh, I'm gonna film myself shooting it a little bit today. Don't mind me if it's a shitty shot, but I'm gonna try to rest off of that red thing here. With my phone leaned up against my ammunition here. Uh, that might not be quite right. Da da da. Are the problems that you have without. A proper setup for your filming, you know, but I don't care enough to care enough. Anyways, oh, buttons, lots of buttons. Anyways, I'm going to shoot somewhere around here, wherever it gives me a comfortable seating position that's rested. And uh, you'll be able to see me. Hopefully. Anyways, let me get three rounds here. Give my magazine around. These are... 140 grain Nosler uh, partitions or something. They're the, the Nosler hunting rounds. They're the 140 grain with the uh, with the beige tip on them. They're about uh, 140 grains going about, what, 3,200 feet a second or so. So they're uh, pretty quick. Really come out here. I got a bunch of espresso instant coffee in me. And some breakfast. And it's about 2, 2.30 right now. So, uh, time-wise, 14.30 or so. Today's Saturday. Um, we're going to hit some steel with this. Hopefully hit it. We're going to attempt to hit it at least. If I can hit steel with this scope today, I'm going to end up uh, buying a better scope. Because if you sight this in for 100 yards, you're going to be pretty much flat out to three, 400 yards. So, Oh, hey, look. Look at that. Something like so. This eye box is terrible on this thing. Here. Safe. Ah, oh, baby. Let me tell you, that's satisfying to see that big ass round go in that fucking chamber. Let's see if I can. It's on nine power on the scope. I'm gonna aim at that barcode, I can see it, but my uh, crosshair is kind of coming out pretty well. Aim at the right side barcode. 100 yards. Best I can, it's not gonna be perfect. Actually, I'm gonna aim at the very center, at the six o'clock position on the red dot to see where it's at. So that I have some paper. Oh yeah, it's high and left.
tie off. Let me unscrew my caps here. Uh, one clip quarter inch, 100 yards. How, how, uh, how is that? Well, that's quite a bit high. That's like four inches probably. Let me click it. Ten. So ten quarter inches. So that should be two and a half inches or so. And then. Right. Right two click it clicks here. Let's see what that does. Yeah. I haven't shot this since I put the last videos out on it. Because it's just expensive and it's not my main squeeze. My main squeeze is down right now. I botched a trigger job on it. And now it's not safe to fire. It can come down just a little bit more now. So that's hitting the Leopold, or that's hitting the scope nuts and uh, not letting the round come out all the way, but that's fine so that way I don't beat up my brass. There. Four. Does it come right just one click probably? There. This should be pretty close. Because I pulled it a little left, but it, I think I think when it broke, it broke to the left of the target. Let's let this cool down. I'll go to show you where I hit. I kind of get the warm and fuzzies about that fucking cartridge, about its capabilities. Because I was thinking about switching over to like 30 Nosler so I could use my cast bullets in it. But uh, I could still cast uh, six and a half millimeter uh, 140 grainers and do my, uh, my uh, gallery loads out of that thing pretty easily with pretty much whatever powder I wanted. It's just... Uh, I'd have I have to have brass, and that's what that that was was buying more brass to make it worth it. Uh, Lee makes a set of cheat dies, so we'll see. Yeah, see, that's pretty good. I was aiming about right here is where it broke, and it come from here to here. So that was ten clicks. So yeah. I brought down, I think, a couple more clicks and then brought it right one more click because I am shooting to the left, as in my angle is a little bit left. So let's, uh, and I can read the numbers. That scope's clear enough I can read the numbers in it, but it's not clear, real stupid clear. It's only a $100 scope. So what I'll end up doing, let's post another target up. And then uh, since it's shooting high, I can aim down here. Oh, framing you fuck. Since it's shooting high, I can aim down here and see where it's hitting. Or I could just aim down here without posting another target up because that staple gun is kind of ass. I'll just do that. I'll bring it down. 
I don't know, another two two clicks to get real close to that because that that ain't bad. That's you know hand sized, so at a hundred yards, so I should be able to hit um, that little steel plate. That's what I'm after today. And then I, I may be able to hit other things if I so choose. I want to see what it does that little itty bitty steel plate out there. So let's go back and see what we do.